About the time the launch window opened, NASA called off the first liftoff attempt. This is Artemis Launch Control with an update. Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub. It didn't come as a complete surprise. There were repeated stops and starts of fueling overnight. Leak detection equipment went off and uh, stopped the fill of liquid hydrogen during fast fill. Crews were able to mostly fill the tanks when they discovered an engine bleed that couldn't be remedied. Fuel leaks were also a problem during a practice run back in the spring. NASA Communication Officer Daryl Nail discussed it with Administrator Bill Nelson. This is a very complicated machine, a very complicated system, and all those things have to work. And you don't want to light the candle until it's ready to go. The earliest opportunity to try again would be this Friday afternoon, but that all depends on whether engineers can fix the engine bleed. Monday scrub was a disappointment for thousands of people who flocked to the Space Coast hoping to witness the launch of NASA's most powerful rocket. And there's a lot riding on this test drive for NASA's return to the moon. Astronaut Christina Cook is part of the Artemis team. We're going back to stay this time for innovation, for inspiration, and of course for that interplanetary aspect of our next step onto Mars. NASA hopes to land people on the moon's south pole as early as 2025. Skyler Henry, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center.